Hi guys, this is Corey with SellerCore Auction Template Editor. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy frame for your auction templates and a few things that go along with it you need to know. So the first thing I want to talk about is screen width. So I have set up this little pre-made template here. Screen width is literally the pixel width of the left side of your screen all the way over to the right side of your screen. The reason this is important is because everyone's computer screens are different. The person next door to you and the person across country may be looking at different screen size monitors. So you need to keep this in mind when designing. So right here I have a little frame. It's 1500 pixels wide. You see that over here. This seems to fit nice on my screen, but I'm going to this live preview. You can see it there. We'll go down here and what if someone has a screen 1280 pixels wide? What you see here is that this this div this stayed at 1500 pixels and probably ends over here somewhere but it stretches way off their screen so in order for them to read your template they'd have to constantly scroll back and forth and back and forth and you know how annoying that gets I'm sure you've seen it scrolling up and down not a big deal but we definitely do not want this so I'm close out of here all right so I'm starting to tab what we're using for this is the div element. The div is basically a square or block level element. This is the design of the entire internet. It's how you space things out and put them where you want them on the page. So I'll click on it. I'm going to add some CSS style to it. The first thing I'll do is I'll add a border to it so we can see it. Turn it on. I'll make my border blue. We'll actually make it a little bit fatter. We'll make it four pixels wide. I like rounded borders. This is certainly a decision that you can make, whatever you like. Then we're going to go with size. All right, now this is what I was talking about with. The div by nature will stretch the width of your screen, but I actually want to center my div, so I need to set a width so it knows where to center it. So I'm going to set mine to 1100 pixels. 1100 seems to be a good pixel width for eBay. I wouldn't go larger than that. Some sites recommend 900. I think today most people have large enough monitors at 1100 you're safe with. But for eBay, don't go larger than 1100. If you're designing for a blog or another website, whatever you want or need, you can do. Height, I wouldn't worry about. If this will stretch up and down with your content. So now let's go to spacing. I'm going to set it to center. And I'm going to set a margin. A margin is the outside of the div element and padding is the inside of the div element. So I'm going to set this to 10 and that basically adds 10 pixels on all four sides. If I want to set each side, I can do that. I don't need to do that for this. Now I'm going to go to padding and this will, this will basically space the div away from my inner content. So I'm going to set mine to 8 pixels just to get a little space in there. So now I'm going to add a background color. Turn it on. I want something that I can see, but not something that washes out my text in this case. I don't really want a color, so I'm just going to go with a real light gray. So there's something there, but not too much. There it is. And then I like adding box shadows, so I'm going to turn that on. We'll just leave those settings. And there it is. From this point, this basically comes your new design bed. Put all your content in here. They'll stay centered for you, and you're ready to go. Do a little quick preview of it. There it is. All right, guys, this is Corey with SellerCore.com, the free auction template editor. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.